What is up, guys? Mr. Active Channel here from Active Channel Gaming. Now, today we have our 2018 NBA playoff predictions. I'm gonna do my NBA award predictions later this week. I'm just doing these first because, like, I kind of need to upload my playoff predictions before the playoffs. But it doesn't really matter if I do my awards before or after the start of the playoffs. So, uh, before we predict each game, I got 13 of the 16 teams in the playoffs right when I uploaded my NBA predictions video before the season started. The only teams I had not being in were the Jazz, the 76ers, and the Pacers. And instead of those teams, I had the Nuggets, who were so close to making it this year, and I also had the Pistons and the Hornets. So, other than that, I got every other team right, so pat on the back for me. And without further ado, let's get these started. So I'm not just going to predict the first round today. I'm going to do every round, including the championship. So first, we have the Rockets and the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves are very good for an 8 seed, as they did it up with 47 wins, which is just two less than the number 3 seeded Trailblazers. That's how close this West was. And I think the Timberwolves will get a game, maybe two games. But the Rockets are too good. They've been the best team of the league. They have been insane since the All-Star break and a little bit before it. They have really been on a groove. James Harden's going to win an MVP. Chris Paul is still one of the best point guards in the NBA. Clint Capella's had a great breakout season. And other players like Eric Gordon have really stepped up when this team has needed them to, to be good. So I have the Rockets escaping the Timberwolves in, I'm going to say, five games. Next up, we have the four-seeded Oklahoma City Thunder and the five-seeded Utah Jazz. This was easily the hardest one in the first round. The Jazz, they obviously have Donovan Mitchell, who's had a great rookie year. Rudy Gobert, who's probably going to win Defensive Player of the Year. And another number of other talented players like Ricky Rubio, Joe Ingles, etc. And I'm really tempted to pick the Jazz, but I feel like the Thunder have more experienced players. Of course, Russell Westbrook, he's been in the finals before. He's been deep into the playoffs. Paul George has taken some Pacers teams on his back in the playoffs. The Pacers almost made the finals in the early 2010s with, the, of course, Paul George, Roy Hibbert, Lance Stevenson, David West, George Hill days. Those, those days where Paul George put them on his back and always lose to LeBron's heat. And Carmelo, well, he's not much of a winner, but, I mean... Carmelo's not really had that good of a year. Steven Adams, he's not that much worse than Rudy Gobert. So I have the Thunder winning. I'm going to have them winning in seven games. The series is certainly going to go down to the wire. Home court advantage will certainly be help for, f helpful for the Thunder. I thought Utah had home court advantage, but I guess not. So I'm going to pick OKC to make it out of Utah. Next up, we have the Portland Trail Blazers and New Orleans Pelicans. This was certainly another one. Damian Lillard and Anthony Davis with both teams. They don't have much other players other than those two. The Blazers do have CJ McCollum, Yusuf Nurkic. The Blazers or the Pelicans had DeMarcus Cousins, but now he's hurt. And I am going to pick the Pelicans to make it out. I think Anthony Davis is going to continue to go, to go beast mode like he has ever since Boogie went down. He's never won a playoff game. I'm pretty sure Damian Lillard has. But Anthony Davis, he's only made the playoffs once, and that was when they took on the Warriors in the first round as an 8 seed, and they got swept. So I think the Pelicans will make it out of the series. I'm going to say I want to say 6 games, but it very well could be 7, and the Blazers very well could win. I feel like this is the one that I'm most likely to get wrong. So I'm going to pick the Pelicans to beat the Blazers, but I'm not super confident. And last but not least, we have the Warriors as the two seed and the Spurs as the seven seed, a rematch of last year's Western Conference Finals, which the Spurs were blowing them out in game one, but then Kawhi got hurt, the Warriors came back and won, the Warriors swept the Spurs and ended up winning the finals, and Kawhi has played in nine NBA games since then, so the Spurs, they've been really strange with the whole Kawhi thing. I won't say they've been the strange ones. I'm saying, like, Kawhi's been the strange one. But what I'm saying is, like, the Spurs have been interesting to watch this year. I guess different. And I have the Warriors winning. I think the Warriors are going to sweep them. I know they don't have Steph Curry this round. I know that. But the Spurs without Kawhi are not that good. Lamarcus Aldridge did have a really good year, though, where he made the all-star team. They have other talented players like Deontay Murray. Kyle Anderson, Tony Parker, even though he's old. 
Manu Ginobili, who's even older. But uh, I have the Warriors winning. Not too shocking. Now in the Eastern Conference, and we're starting off with the one-seeded Raptors and eight-seeded Washington Wizards. And the Raptors are known for being very good in the regular season, but blowing it in the playoffs. They, I think they might have gone to one conference finals. I'm not sure. I may be wrong about that. But I do have them beating the eight-seeded Wizards. The Raptors have been their best this year. Um, they added OG Ananobi. They had Serge Ibaka for a full year. DeMar DeRozan continued his dominance. Kyle Lowry, he didn't have as good of a year, but he still played well. And the Wizards, they've been another strange team this year. I have them making it to the conference championship at the beginning of the season, which probably won't happen. The Wizards have played better without John Wall, and I'm always someone in the past few years who's been very high on the Wizards and very high on John Wall, but I have a Raptor sweeping them. The Wizards said, someone on the Wizards, I forget who, said they're grateful they're not playing the 76ers, so the Raptors should be upset, and I think the Raptors are going to sweep Washington. Maybe Washington will get one win, but I think the Raptors should easily get it. The Indiana Pacers trading Paul George was basically them starting their rebuild, but instead of a rebuild, they got the five seed in the Eastern Conference. Victor Oladipo had a phenomenal year. He's no doubt going to win Most Improved Player. Miles Turner, he disappointed me. I had Miles Turner winning Most Improved Player, but uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers, they've been playing a lot better lately. They had some great trade deadline moves, which I think helped them this year. And will help them in the long term. They got younger by getting Larry Nance. They need to play Larry Nance more minutes. Rodney Hood, Jordan Clarkson, and George Hill. George Hill isn't necessarily young. But all those trades certainly benefited them. And I have them getting by Indiana in five games. They swept Indiana last year with Paul George. And with Victor Oladipo. I, expect, I think the Pacers can win one game. But Victor Oladipo... He was in the playoffs for the first time last year on OKC, but he wasn't really that big of a contributor last year on the Thunder. It was really Russell Westbrook's team. So I had the Cavs winning in five games. Now we have the three-seeded Philadelphia 76ers, the hottest team in the NBA, who have won 16 straight, and the Miami Heat, who are the sixth seed. The Heat have really disappointed me this year. I had them as the five seed, and they're only the sixth seed, which isn't much worse. But the Heat, they haven't really played the way I thought they would. Drogic, I thought he was going to have a big year. He played decent, but not really. Whiteside did not have one of his better years with the Heat. And the Sixers are just red hot. Even though Joel Embiid's been out for the past two, three weeks and will miss at least game one and probably won't be at full health for a majority of the series, the Sixers have been so good lately. Ben Simmons has been so good lately. I think Ben Simmons should win rookie of the year. I think even though he wasn't dropped, this isn't his first year technically, this is his first year playing, and I think that counts as a rookie. And I think the Sixers are going to win in five games. The Heat have not impressed me. The Sixers had it, have impressed me. I've been beating the ninth seed at the beginning of the year, and I have been beating the Heat in five. To finish off the first round, we have the Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. The Celtics were my pick to make the finals before Kyrie Irving got hurt, and now that he's not playing, now that Gordon Hayward, I mean, he only played one game this year, Marcus Smart's hurt, Celtics have too many injuries, they just got hit by the injury bug too much, and I have the Bucks getting out of it. The Celtics' current starting lineup is probably Terry Rozier, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Aaron Baines, and Al Horford, and Giannis is just going to take over, and the Bucks have plenty of other talented players, Eric Bledsoe, Jabari Parker, Malcolm Brogdon, etc., etc. So I have the Bucks winning in, I'll say, seven games. Now, kicking off the second round, we have the Houston Rockets and the OKC Thunder. I believe these teams played in the first round last year with the Rockets winning. And I have the Rockets winning again. Pretty much why I have them beating the Timberwolves. James Harden and company are too good. The Timberwolves and the Thunder aren't really that far apart. They're only one game apart. And I don't think the Thunder are that much better than the Timberwolves. I think they're a tad better than the Timberwolves, but not by that much. So therefore, I do have the Rockets winning, and I'll go with five games again. Sorry, Russell Westbrook. Your team just can't get by. Probably the best team in the NBA right now in the Houston Rockets. 
And the other game in the West in the second round is the Warriors and the Pelicans. And similar with the Rockets and Thunder, Golden State's too good. Steph Curry will probably be back. And even if they didn't have Steph Curry, I still think they could beat the Pelicans. Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson. They're just too talented, and I don't see them losing to the Pelicans. Anthony Davis is a monster. But I have his playoff run ending here. I think the Warriors are going to sweep him. I think Steph Curry's going to be back. And I think the Dubs are going to be looking good. Now we have the Raptors and Cavaliers kicking off the second round matchups in the East. This is probably the most intriguing matchup of this whole bracket. The Raptors have been the best team in the Eastern Conference this year. But they're not the greatest in the playoffs. And Cleveland is LeBron James and... They have not been great in the regular season with LeBron. I believe they only have won one seed ever since he returned, which was the year they won the championship. I think they ever won one seed that year. And I think LeBron's going to keep on rolling. The, uh, the Raptors are coming off a sweep against Washington, and I have the Cavs winning five. I'm going to say the Cavs win in seven. I think the series is going to go down the wire. I think if the Raptors were playing either the Sixers or the Bucks, they would probably be able to beat either of those teams in advance to the conference finals, but... They got unlucky with Cleveland being the four seed, and I have Cleveland advancing to the Eastern Conference Finals. The Bucks did get debatably the biggest upset of the bracket, if you would even consider that an upset beating Boston, because Boston, half their team is injured. And the Sixers, they're still red hot. Joel Embiid will be back, no doubt. He should be good to go at this point, and I think the Sixers are going to keep on rolling. They destroyed the Bucks on Wednesday, they had, the Sixers scored like 45 points in the first quarter, and the Bucks got like 20. So, just basing on the way these two teams played three days ago, I don't see why the Sixers are going to lose. I think the Sixers are going to beat the Bucks and advance to the Eastern Conference Finals, which means we have four teams left. The Rockets, Warriors, Cavaliers, and 76ers. The Rockets, Warriors, and Cavs were probably somewhat expected at the beginning of the year, but certainly not the 76ers. My playoff bracket has been somewhat normal so far. A lot of people would probably agree with my predictions. But now, I don't know. Western Conference Finals, Rockets, Warriors. This is definitely going seven games. And Houston's too good. James Harden has been too good this year. Chris Paul, Clint Capella, Eric Gordon, Trevor Ariza, Ryan Anderson, Golden State will not make it to the Finals for a fourth straight year. I'm not being biased. I don't like Golden State, but I think Houston will make it to the finals. Now, I don't think this is the end of Golden State's dynasty. I think Golden State's going to win some more championships within the next five or so years, but you don't get them every year, and the Warriors have had plenty of injuries, so they're sort of still going to be like regaining chemistry of while the Rockets are going to be red hot. Even though I had the Warriors sweeping the Spurs and the Pelicans, I had them losing to the Houston Rockets in the Western Conference Finals. Y'all probably think I'm high. I have the Rockets making it to the Finals. I know the 76ers are red hot, and Ben Simmons has been destroying it, and Joel Embiid probably has been destroying it by the time we get to the Eastern Conference Finals, but it's LeBron James. It's hard to pick against LeBron James, and you really can't pick against LeBron James to make it to the Finals until he starts regressing or he has players like, I don't know, the rest of his team is a bunch of Kyle Singlers, like LeBron James and 11 Kyle Singler clones, then maybe someone could stop him. But other than that, the Cavs are going to make it to the finals, beating the Sixers in, I'm going to say, six games. So Rockets, Cavaliers, final. The Cavs make it for the fourth straight year, and LeBron makes it for the eighth straight year. Just not playing the team that most people expected. And in the NBA Finals, I have the Houston Rockets winning. They're in a better conference. They've been the better team this year. And they just... James Harden's too good. I know I've said that like every round. But I think James Harden is going to cook against this Cavs defense. Tyron Lue is not a good coach, so I don't think that'll help him. Meanwhile, Mike D'Antoni is a great coach. So I think coaching certainly goes to the Rockets. And talent goes to the Rockets. I'm going to say the Rockets win it in six games. Tell me you guys have winning the finals in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm out. Peace.